Big news out of Norman, Oklahoma. Whew, um, this was not good. Uh, not at all. Kale Gundy, the wide receivers coach, uh, at one point was the running backs coach, uh, assistant head coach. I mean, just all kind of stuff. He has resigned uh, after reading aloud shameful word off of players' iPad. Now, it goes through and it says... Uh, his his post was uh, that he read aloud a word I should never say under any circumstances uh, have uttered off the screen during a player's iPad during a film session last week. He said he noticed the player who was supposed to be taking notes during a film session was distracted. He said he picked up the player's iPad, read the words on the screen, uh, including the unspecified term, which I think we all know what that term is. Uh, he said in his statement, the unfortunate reality is that someone in my position can cause harm uh, without ever meaning to do so. In that circumstance, a man of character accepts accountability. I take responsibility for this mistake. I apologize. He said he did not even realize what he was reading, and as soon as he did, he was horrified. And I I do believe this, right? Uh, he said it was not malicious. It wasn't even intentional. Uh, he said that he is mature enough to know that the word he said was shameful and hurtful, no matter the intentions. Now, he was the quarterback for the Sooners from 1990 through 93. He returned as part of Bob Stoops' first staff in, uh, staff in 1999. He's been a part of all of Oklahoma's 14 Big 12 titles and its 2000 National Championship. Like he, He's been there forever, right? It doesn't matter the coaching changes. He has been there. He's been the dude. And then you have this happen, and before anything can happen, before anything even gets out into the news, he's already resigned. Um, I will say this: like this came out from Oklahoma just a uh, just a little bit ago. Let's see. I believe da, 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 da. yeah, about twenty minutes before I started recording here. It says a statement from head football coach Brent Venables. As painful as it has been dealing with Coach Gundy resigning from the program, it does not touch the experience of pain felt by a room of full or a room full of young men. I am charged to protect, lead, and love. There are a few things I would like to address. It says Coach Gundy resigned from the program because he knows what he did was wrong. He chose to read aloud to his players not once but multiple times a racially charged word that is objectionable to everyone and does not reflect the attitude and values of our university or our football program. Uh, this is not acceptable, period. Coach Gundy did the right thing in resigning. He knows our goals for excellence and that coaches have special responsibilities to set an example. He also knows that while he will always be a part of the OU family, that his words affected many of us and did not represent the principles of our university. Again, his resignation was the right thing to do, and we will move forward positively. Now, I get it. I, I totally get it. I understand this. You don't want it to be a distraction. However, a statement from the head coach makes it even more of a distraction, I believe. Uh, do I think that Kale Gundy will coach again? Yes. Probably, uh, and now this was, of course, his first stint with Venables as the head coach. He did work with Venables back under Bob Stoops. So, was there something else going on here? Eh, possibly. Um, but it is it, it is very interesting, right? There are a lot of questions around here trying to figure out exactly what happened, what is going on. Uh, will Kale Gundy go and coach for his brother? Will he go be an analyst at Oklahoma State? That's a question, right? There's a lot of things to try and figure out here. But uh, but as it sits, I mean, this is a guy that was massive in recruiting, a guy that had been there through multiple staffs, had loved Norman, Oklahoma, absolutely loved it, and I think wishes he was still on staff. However, uh, maybe there was something else going on behind the scenes. Just a question. You guys in the chat, you tell me. In the comments, tell me. I'm uh, I'm a little curious as to what really ended up going on here, or is it just as simple as what they've put out? That's my question. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.